Hey guys, um, this is Taurus here. As a lot of people know, um, getting your driver's license is a very good thing in a lot of people's lives, and I'm going to be getting my license soon, within a couple of months. So, I just wanted to share with you guys what it takes to become a good driver. In this, and I am going to use Saints Row to prove this. Here is me, sexy, sexy, sexy. Hang on, hang on. They wiggle. They wiggle. They, they, come on, they wiggle. They wiggle. They wiggle. Boing. Anyway, um, get in your car, and you always want to make sure you got your seatbelt on, your boobs whipped out, and everything else. So, you get everything all ready, crank up your music, take your seatbelt off. You don't do 10 until you put your hand right up there at noon. All right, make sure you get your checklist done, and then just speed up all the way and make sure all the spikes come out of your tires. You always want to make contact with other drivers on the road. You also want to cause as much collateral damage you can while you're taking your driver's test. Make sure the person in there with you also gets to see everybody that you're running over. You also want to make sure you can run over as many, many, many people as possible. Driving on the sidewalk does not get points docked off your driving record. Running into people actually gains points on your driver's record when you go to drive. And uh, sometimes, you know, if you feel as if you need to go to the bathroom or you just don't like somebody, you, you, you can just hop right out of your car when you're taking your driver's test, pull out a taser and just shoot them, just, just tase them, just tase them all the time, just, just shock them, just shock them. And then if, if that doesn't do enough, you know, you can always just, you can always just have a shark come out of the ground and eat people that are cutting you off when you're driving. It, it, yep, there you go. That's, that's a good way to do it. And, you know, if you ever get in trouble with the cops, you always have to make sure to hit them right in the testicles, testicles, douche, right there. Anyway, guys. And then you get back in your car, and you just prove to your driving instructor that you can drive correctly. Just make sure you run over as many people possible, and to get a highest score possible on your driver's test, you always want to engage the nitrous. Always engage the nitrous and cause as much collateral damage as possible. Running over old ladies, shooting hookers, killing people is the best way to get a great grade on your driving test. You always want to go as fast as possible, downhill. Don't be afraid to go off-roading either, you know. Just getting all up in here, go off-roading. And you realize if you total your vehicle too much, if you if you just accidentally total your vehicle, if, like, Saddam starts throwing frag grenades at your vehicle, you can always go and find someone else to help you pass your driver's test. You can always find somebody's crappy-ass sedan to help you find your driver's test. That is also equipped with nitrous. You always want to be able to pull out your weapons and shoot people. That give you so much more points on your driving exam. Is shooting around, shooting people, shooting people, or just carrying umbrellas in the rain. You get so much, much, much. Just respect this way. Everybody thinks you're ghetto, and you know if there's giant cola cans and people that, like your friends in your gang, don't don't be afraid. Don't be afraid just to pick them up and shoot into them, you know, your friends aren't your friends anymore, guys. But just just remember, you always have to look at titties, 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 titties. And then, you know, you you can always you can always say up yours to the cops or give them a good little flippy bird there. And you know what, if you're ever being chased by the cops, take a car, go nuts, turn the lights on and have yourself a good damn rave. Just run everything over that you can, guys. I'm getting my license soon. Watch out, people. Yeah, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to post a good video showing exactly how my driving test is going to go in a month or so here. As you know, I'm, well, my YouTube videos say I'm 16, but my YouTube profile says I'm 64. If you don't believe me, just, just check. But anyway, I just wanted to post this. You know, some people get really nervous when they think about their driving tests. You, like I said, just follow everything I said. Cause as much collateral damage. Kill as many people as you can. Oh, uh, if there's... Please start laying down spike strips. Don't be afraid just to run them over. You know, if there's any any water in the area, you want to drive your car straight into it. If you see a, any military personnel anywhere, you want to run them over. Cause as much havoc as possible. Yeah, I just I just really thought this would be a good commentary to do. Tell everybody exactly what they need to do in case of an emergency where they need to drive. Oh, and trust me, you you can. I just wanted to also say, one of the last things I want to say is don't be afraid to drive under the limit or intoxicated because, you know, if you do, you are awesome.
just make sure to have as much fun as you can while you're driving shoot up everybody just have a hell of a time and just make sure do what Tor says when in doubt shoot people with a grenade launcher just shoot them shoot them up cuz you want it want it now now shoot it shoot it up cuz you want it want it now alright this has been Taurus guys peace out and ace that driving test